astounding entertainment jackpot capital of the world, Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the exciting new prize, Maximus Letter Perfect Game Show, Caesar's Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, Ahmad Rashad. Welcome, welcome to Las Vegas, and welcome to Caesar's Challenge. Now, this is a game show where you not only get a chance to win these beautiful prizes, but also this $45,000 Lincoln Mark 8. All right, now, Steve Day, let us meet our challengers. Returning for his third day, having already won over $50,000 in prizes, including trips to Hawaii and Portugal, tickets to the Super Bowl, and a pair of jet skis, a honeymooner, and pet store owner, here is Scott Gordon. Here's a beautician from Orlando, Florida. This is Laura Whitsitt in Vegas, trying her luck. And from Los Angeles, an RTD bus driver and mother of three, here's Leanna Nelson. All right, Scott, you are our returning champion, played very well the last couple of days, and you're on your honeymoon? Yes, sir. Spinning it right here in Vegas, huh? <laughs> Trying to. Is that the only thing you're spending here in Vegas? <laughs> not, unfortunately not. All right, good luck to you today. Leanna, you are a R bus driver. Right, RTD. Really? Yes. How uh -huh. did you land in Las Vegas? Well, we came up for a busman's holiday, if you will, a convention of bus drivers, yeah. A we're convention of, now, did you yeah. come up on the bus? We did, and I drew the lot that said I got to drive the bus, so they you... gave me a bad time all the way up, and I, if I don't win, I'll get a bad time all the way back. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. And Laurel, you are from Orlando. Mm -hmm. Obviously a fan of the Orlando Magic. Obviously, my good lord. <laughs> <laughs> now, whomever of you wins the most dollars by the end of our game will not only have the opportunity to buy these beautiful prizes, but you'll also have the chance to face Caesar's Challenge and win this beautiful $45,000 Lincoln Mark 8. And all of this happens by making wagers, answering questions, and unscrambling words. Now, here is our first word, Zach. As you can see, Zach is not the first word. Zach is our centurion's name. It pertains to recreation. Now, we stake each of you with $2,500. First round odds are at a two to one payoff and you're limited to a $250 bet. Please punch in your wagers. Now, whoever buzzes in first with the correct answer to a question will earn an additional $100 and have the opportunity to choose one letter. Then we'll move it to its correct position and then you'll have five seconds to guess the word. Now, if you find the letter that belongs in our lucky slot and you then identify the word, our instant jackpot carried over from yesterday is now worth $2,000. Are we ready? The subject is recreation. 10, 12, 15. How many strikes make a perfect game in bowling? Leanna. Strikes, 10 strikes. 10 strikes. That would be good if you were a pitcher, if you had 10 strikeouts, but not the right answer. Yes, Laurel. 12. 12 is exactly right. All right. Not only, not only a beautician. Wait, do you bowl? I am a great bowler. Okay, all right, okay. pick a letter. <laughs> um, I would like the R, please. The R, please. Five seconds. Um. Recreation. On the left, on the right, in the rear, where would you find the starboard side of a boat? Yes, Leanna. On the right. On the right is where you find the starboard. Pick a letter. The S, please. The S, please. Five seconds. Subject, recreation. Bogey, par, birdie. Which of these is the best score on a golf hole? Yes, Laurel. Um... Bogey. A bogey is wrong. wrong. <laughs> Scott. Birdie. A birdie, exactly right. Scott, pick a letter. A G, please. The G, please. Five seconds. Surfing. Surfing. All right, let's see your wagers. 250, 250, 200, and the totals. Scott with an early lead with $3,100. Now here is our second word. 
and it pertains to U.S. presidents. Odds are still at two to one. Punch in your wages, please. My lucky slot is now worth $2,500. U.S. presidents, Adams, Madison, Washington. Which president signed the Declaration of Independence? Yes, Leon. Adams. Adams signed it. Yes, he did. Pick a letter. Okay. The T, please. The T, please. Five seconds. U.S. presidents. Ohio, Massachusetts, Virginia. Which state has been the birthplace of the most... Yes, Scott. Virginia. The most U.S. presidents. Virginia. Eight presidents were born in Virginia. Uh, pick a letter. Uh, the N, please. The N, please. Five seconds. U.S. presidents. Cap Dwight Eisenhower, Ronald Reagan, Herbert Hoover. Who was the oldest person ever elected president? Yes, Scott. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower was old, but he wasn't the oldest. Yes, Leanna. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is old, was old, and he's the answer. <laughs> Pick a letter, Leanna. Okay, the, the, um, the A. The A, please. Five seconds. U.S. presidents. New Deal, Square Deal, Fair Deal. What was the name of Fred? Yes, Scott. The New Deal. What was the name of Teddy Roosevelt's domestic program? The New Deal was not it. Leanna. Fair Deal. Fair Deal was not no. <laughs> Fair Deal was the same thing that Scott said, so I think that was wrong oh, two times. You said New Deal? So You're both wrong, and you're right. right. The answer is Square Deal. Thank you. Square Deal. I would like the B, please. The B, please. If you can guess the word in five seconds, you pick up an additional $2,500. The word is cabinet. The word is cabinet. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. Let's see your wages. 150, 250, 250, and the totals. We have a new leader, Laurel, $5,250. Now, we have a lot of prizes up here to give away, but we're going to hear about a couple of them right now. Steve, tell us. You and a guest will fly in first-class style for 10 glorious days in exotic Tahiti. Secluded white sand beaches, warm crystal clear waters, this fantasy vacation is valued at $10,000. You will love it. And from Antiquities International, here in Caesar's own forum shops, this classic American collection features a vintage gasoline pump and rare home soda fountain. It's a prize package worth over $8,000. All right, we have a fairly tight game here. Law with a little bit of a lead, but we'll have more of Caesar's challenge right after these messages. Is our next word and the subject is cartoons and comics now punch in your wages you're limited in this round to a $500 bet the questions are now worth $200 a piece and the lucky slot is now worth $1,000 Van Smelt Van Gelt Van Pelt Laurel I hope it's Van Pelt what, do you know what the rest of the question is? What is Lucy and Linus's last name? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, oh. You can stand over here. Take a, take a letter, please. I would like the um, M, please. The M, M is a mod. Oh. You have hit the lucky spot. If you can guess the words in five seconds, you pick up an additional one thousand dollars. Is it animated? It is. Did they get it? Yeah! yeah All right, let's see your wages. 350, 500, 500, and our totals? Yes, law, $7,150. Here is our next word. Do you know it, Laurel? No, I don't know. And the subject is outer space. Punch in your wages, please. The lucky slot is now worth $1,000. Barney Wyatt Howe. 
What was the... It, Scott uh, picked this. Oh, Scott. How? How what? <laughs> how? Oh, how? They keep getting to me before I read them. What was the computer in 2001 A Space Odyssey? It was how? Pick a letter. The R, please. The R, please. Five seconds, outer space. Empire. <laughs> State building. <laughs> Great Wall of China, Astrodome. What's the only man-made structure visible from... Yes, God. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is over 1,500 miles long. Pick a letter. The D, please, Amon. The D. If you can pick the word, in five seconds you pick up an additional $1,000. Outer space. A dog, a mouse, a chimp. Which was the first animal... Yes, Scott? A chimp. What was, which was the first animal in space? No. Yes, Leanna? A dog. A dog, a Russian dog named Lika. Yes. All right. Pick a letter, please, Leanna. The S, please. The S, please. Five seconds. The subject is outer space. Polar Polaris Orion Nebula. What's the actual name of the North, North Star? Yes, Laurel. Uh, Polaris. Polaris is right. All right. All right. Um, Pick a letter. I, I would like the A, please. The A, please. Five seconds. Outer space. Asteroid. Asteroid. All right, let's see your wages. 400, 500, 400, and the totals? Laurel jumping way out, front of $8,150 in our next round. The odds go to three to one payoff. So you have a chance to get right back into the game right here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Where we find our contestants for Caesar's Challenge, well, they are chosen from right here in our Caesar's Palace audience. Now, here's our next word. And the subject is food. That car horn, 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 the car horn that you just heard? I think it was a car horn. That means that this is our last word. So, if you're trying to get back into it, you've got to realize this is your last shot. Punch in your wages, please. Our lucky slot is now worth $1,000. Pork shoulders, beef lips, turkey legs. What's the primary ingredient in Spam? Yes, Scott. Pork shoulders. Pork shoulders, yes. Pick a letter. The S, please. The S, please. Five seconds. Subject is food. Seven days, seven weeks, seven months. According to Hostess, what's the shelf life of a Twinkie? Yes, Laurel. Seven days. Seven days is correct, but I've had a Twinkie around for seven months and it still is pretty good. Pick a letter. I'll never read a Twinkie again. Okay, I would like the um, R, please. The R, please. Five seconds. Subject Asparag is food. Asparagus? Asparagus? Is asparagus? It? Is it asparagus? It's asparagus! <laughs> All right, let us see your wages. 600, 750, 500, and the totals, please. $10,350. We have a winner. Laurel. All right, with $10,350, we can do some shopping. Tahiti, I think. I'm going to Tahiti. That's it. You're going to Tahiti. Yeah. All right. Great. All right, Scott, you have uh, 
You have been a, a great champion. You got trips to Hawaii and Portugal. You got jet skis. You got Super Bowl tickets. You got a new wife. You got lucky <laughs> twice last night. We couldn't give you anything else here. Thank you. Thanks for playing. Here. All right, and Leanna. We would not want you to just go home on that bus and be upset. So, <laughs> the people here at Caesars World would like to invite you and a guest to visit their beautiful resort in the Poconos. Ooh. Tell her about it, Steve. Okay, Abad, and nestled in the beautiful Pocono Mountains is the luxurious, all-inclusive Caesars Resorts. You'll enjoy spectacular indoor and outdoor sports featuring swimming, tennis, ice skating, golf, horseback riding, and so much more. Fine dining, first-class service, and entertainment performed nightly are all yours at a romantic Caesars Pocono Resorts getaway. All right, don't go away. The chance to win the $45,000 Lincoln Market is next as we face Caesar's Challenge. It is the moment that we have been waiting for, and Laurel has also been waiting for it, because now she is going to face Caesar's Challenge. At stake is this beautiful $45,000 chariot, a 1993 Lincoln Mark 8. Tell us about it, Steve. From the Lincoln Mercury division of the Ford Motor Company, it's the luxurious all-new Lincoln Mark 8 for 1993. This latest edition of the ultimate personal touring sedan is completely redesigned from bumper to bumper. Successfully face Caesar's challenge, and this $45,000 chariot will take you home in style. All right, Laura, there are 200 letters in our spinning cage. They're going to come out one at a time. However many it takes until our computers tell us that we have at least one nine-letter dictionary certified word. Our producers will then choose the word, and you'll see the letters in the order that they are rolled out. And since this is your first day on the show, you'll be able to choose one letter for us to move to its proper position, and then you will have 10 seconds to figure out the word. Okay. Are you in sort of a driving kind of mood? I'm in a winning kind of mood, A yeah. winning kind of yeah. mood? All right, let the tournament begin. Okay. Let us see the letters, please. All right, Laurel, which letter would you like to move to its proper position? Let's move the S. The S, please. Audience, absolute silence. You now have 10 seconds. Is it scoundrel? I get it. I get it. I get it. It is scoundrel. I'm going to go out to the audience and find some more winners. For the staff and crew of Caesar's Challenge, Southwest Airlines is the only way to fly to Las Vegas. It's just plain smart. All right, we have a bucket full of Caesar's Palace chips. We're going to put some five-letter words up on the slot machine. If you know the word, you get a fistful of chips. You can cash them in or go gambling in our casino. Give me a word up there, and let me see if you can guess it in five seconds. Phone. Phone. Uh, phone. Get yourself some chips. All right. Five seconds. Body language. Nope, you didn't get it. Let's move over here. The word was hasty. Can we have another word? Five seconds. Oh. oh. Whale. 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 You are right. Get yourself some chips right over here. All right. All right. Five. Pilot. What is it? Pilot. 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 Get yourself some chips. 